folks, Ariel over here at Fine If, where today I want to do a video that kind of covers two purposes. First, the uh, what we're going to cover here is a little bit of Burley's first year in review. A couple weeks ago he turned one, so this is a little look back at when he was much smaller here, obviously. And two, to kind of answer some questions about what kind of dog he is, because it's a question I've gotten repeatedly and I hope he'll be around for many more years. So this is kind of to save me time so that I can simply reference this video in the future whenever somebody asks me that. Burley joined me last October, the, toward the end of the month, when he was almost three months old. He, this is his lovely mama. You can see her coloring is fairly similar to him and his lovely daddy. Photo credit for those goes to his breeder, Crystal Beers. And here's some photos of him when he was really little. It's him in the middle of all of his siblings as they grow up and the day I picked him up and brought him home. And he joined my life. We got opportunities to do a few fall things before it started snowing. He was only with me for about a week before we got the first snowfall for the year. But in regards to the second question, what kind of dog is Burley? He is an English Shepherd. Um, this is a breed whose history came from working farm dogs in England. Uh, shares a lot of history with breeds like Border Collies as well as um, smooth and rough-coated Collies and way back even goes back to sharing some heritage with Bernese Mountain Dogs um, and strains of this breed have been around since the Romans were in Britain at least. Anyway, uh, English Shepherds are a, a working breed. They were never bred for show, so there's a good bit of variation in the breed with different coat colors, different ear carriages, um, whether they're upright or floppy. Clearly, Burley's got floppy ears and so on. So there's a good bit of variety, but they were always bit, bred to be working companions. Um, they will herd, they will hunt, they will control varmints, they will guard your house, they will guard your kid, they will want to be at your side at all times. They're often nicknamed English Shadows, so if you don't or can't have a dog at your side at all times, probably not the breed for you. Um, but they're also uh, an outdoor working dog. Burley has a nice thick double layered coat with the equivalent of like a down jacket underneath. And then uh, as an adult, um, guard hairs on the exterior. So he's very comfortable outside in the snow, as you've probably seen in our past videos. He adores the snow. He doesn't so much like being hot, but usually we have water he can get in in the summer and, and cool down. Anyway, so I picked this breed because the breed's general characteristics fit pretty well with what I wanted um, and, you know, did in my personal lifestyle. I realized for sure that every individual dog is different and general breed characteristics are no guarantee of what a particular dog will end up acting or being like, but... In most cases, he has proven pretty true to the uh, standard temperament. English Shepherds are highly intelligent, which can make them fairly easy to train. Uh, it also makes them fairly easy to get bored, and so if they haven't got something to do, they will invent their own games, which may or may not be something that you consider an appropriate activity. Um, they're also very alert and attentive. They tend to be rule enforcers, uh, not, not so much like a dominant, I want to be the boss of everybody kind of dog, but if they know there's a role like no dogs on the couch, if you have another dog, you will probably find your English Shepherd enforcing the role. If other dog tries to get on the couch, you'll say, no, 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 mom says no dogs on the couch. You can't do that. So they, um, they can be a little bit of a, a bossy dog and tend to want to be sure everything is going as it should be. They like to know what the roles are and make sure that everything is lined up with that. Anyway, um, that's a little bit of the breed history. You can see Burley's funny belly markings. He just loves rolling upside down. He has ever since he was a little baby and still does to this day. It's actually one of his favorite sleeping positions. He's sleeping on the floor a couple feet from my toes right now, and that's pretty distant because usually he sleeps on my toes because he likes being near me. Speaking of toes, he does have rather huge feet in proportion, especially to his little size when he was smaller, but even in proportion to his body now. And they make great natural snowshoes and help with uh, stability and footing on all kinds of steep terrain, such as his ancestors may have herded sheep on in the... Uh, 
British Isles, and they definitely seem to serve him well in the mountains here. This dog likes to play hard, likes to sleep hard. We don't have a no dogs on the couches rule in our house. My house is so little, if I start making rules like that, he won't be allowed to be anywhere. So he's always been allowed on the couch, though. So he only naps there every now and then. But he does adore dashing through the snow. I love watching his floppy ears. They don't turn inside out quite as much now as when he was little. But he has always very much enjoyed going for walks and then crashing in front of the fire and then playing outside in the snow and then napping beside me. And for real, he's usually not more than a few feet away from me. So all of these things have worked out very, very well for him to be a very awesome dog for my life. We seem to like each other a lot and get along well and very much enjoy a lot of the same things. Now, one caution, if you think, oh, this means that this is an awesome breed in general, please, if you're considering getting an English Shepherd, do think about your life. Can you have a dog beside you almost all of the time? Do you have something for that dog to do so that they are not bored and you don't come home to having found they invented a game that involves destroying your house? Do you have the ability to know how to interact with a dog so that you can lay down clear rules? Because he really is a very, very well-behaved young man at this point, including with the large wildlife and things like moose that we have clearly right up against our house. But he also do, does have a bit of a strong will, and I could definitely see it again year old if he'd had no training and been unattended he could have uh, turned into the kind of dog that would tear the house apart and be a holy little terror at this point he is not and we get along really well but that is something to think about he's also highly active we walk many many miles every day normally uh, we go on long backpacking trips we go on long snow walks he very much enjoys the outdoor activity so if that is not something you have time for or an interest in a super active breed that would be happy to go to 10 to 20 miles a day every single day may not be one that fits well with your life. My life, however, is obviously fairly active. I am outdoors a whole lot. He is able to come along with me for almost all the kinds of work I do. Occasionally he needs to take a nap in his crate while I do something that he wouldn't be uh, safe to do with me, but most of the time he can be right with me and he loves that and you know, he still is a puppy. At a year old, he's he's not a huge breed. Oh, that's another question I get a whole lot, his size. Right now, he's about 47 pounds and uh, just over 20 inches, maybe 20 and a half inches tall right at his shoulders. He probably isn't going to grow a whole lot more than that. He might fill out a little bit, might put on a little, you know, more weight or a little more height in the next year. He is a big enough breed that he's not going to be fully mature for about another year, but the changes in the next year would be far less drastic than the changes in his first year of life. So that's about his his size. He's going to be approximately a little 50-pound dog and about 20 inches tall. Um... But that's, that's big enough to take care of himself. I don't live with all of my big wildlife in, in the kind of place where very, very tiny dogs would have a whole lot of fun in their lives. And he is super active, which is a, a, just a great fit for all of the things I like to do. I I definitely did not want to end up with a dog who was going to want to or need to be at home napping on the couch all day while I spent time doing outside things. So a dog with a fairly high energy level has been a terrific fit for me because of the lifestyle I have. If yours is not so active, again, may not be the most awesome fit for you because they do get bored easily. And English Shepherds really enjoy mental games too, not just physical activity. So in addition to all the physical activity we get, outside. We have, since he was quite young, played different mental games, just learning different fun commands, different little tricks, and even, um, not that he's always perfect at them, but even just doing things like, you know, instead of just throwing something for him to fetch, hiding it for him, and then letting him, you know, where he can't see where I hide it, and then letting him go search it out. The uh, very intelligent dogs like this thrive on having some mental puzzles and stimulation as well. Plus, he does nap. And I think partially because we are so active, he is outside a whole lot of the time. He is an excellent rodent chaser. Uh, that is a, a breed characteristic. They're very good at defending a little farm or homestead um, and taking care of everything 
everything. He loves trying to dig out rodents. He's still got more enthusiasm than skill at the moment, though he's caught a few. Um, I think as he gets a little bigger, he will probably develop some more skill to go along with his vigorous enthusiasm. But if we were not so active, again, this is a dog that I could easily see becoming a terrific nightmare to live with just because he would be bored and bouncing off the walls. English Shepherds tend to get something called the Zoomies where they just can race in circles. This he does every now and then, but usually only when he has been uh, lacking exercise for a very long time, like 12 hours or something, which is pretty rare, but I can definitely tell if I have a sick day or something and I'm on the couch and not real active, he starts getting bored and really wants to do something. Because he is so active normally, boredom is just not a problem. And when I need to do something chill, he's plenty tired from all of his activity that he just crashes and takes a nap. But anyway, those are some more general breed characteristics that are important to consider. Um, back to a little bit of his background. He grew up on a little off-grid ranch in Washington, actually. His parents are working sheep dogs on, um, well, sheep and goat dogs on that farm. So he came from the mountains. He's still in the mountains. He seems to love the mountains. And just overall, um, we have really, really enjoyed our time together. Back to the intelligence thing here, you will see, uh, though he has learned to love fetching sticks, He's also smart, and if he notices that the current is going to bring a stick in his direction, he's not going to waste any energy jumping in there to get it. He's just going to wait till it comes right to him, and then he's going to grab it and figure out how to do that. It's, it's interesting to watch his thought process in his little head there. Anyway, he really has been a lovely dog um, so far, and I hope that we have many, many more years of great time together. He seems to like me. I know I like him. He's a pretty great companion in life, and we just really, really enjoy our time together. I'm sure somebody's going to ask about food. He has been... Uh, fed kind of prey model raw food ever since, uh, well, before he was born. His parents are both fed that way as well. I do hope to get around to having time to do a video with more details on that um, in the near future. I'm not going to get into that in that this video, just for the sake of time, but if you have questions about the general method of feeding in the meantime, go ahead and look up a website called Perfectly Rawsome, kind of spelled like the word awesome, except with an R at the beginning, um, dot com. They have a whole ton of info on raw feeding dogs, and as you can see, he seems to be thriving on such a diet and is very happy, loves being up in the mountains, loves being, act loves being active, has gone on several backpacking trips with me, and hopefully we will go on several more. So anyway, that, hopefully that gives you guys a little brief overview of English Shepherds, some of their breed history, and a little bit of Burley's first year, because he just turned one a couple weeks ago. And hopefully you'll see him in videos for many, many years to come. Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.